Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will be looking at my top five Microsoft tools to make your classes inclusive so we can empower our students with various needs and accommodations just so that our students can read, write, overcome their math anxiety and communicate better with us. These tools are absolutely free inbuilt and non-stigmatizing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first step towards inclusive classroom is to make sure that your digital content is accessible. So tool number one is accessibility checker. Let's take a look. Here I'm on my Word and PowerPoint document. To check for accessibility, let me click on Review tab in both the documents. And here I have my check for accessibility. Let me click on that. And with one click, it will give you all the errors that you have made and you're stopping your content to be accessible for your students. And here are the lists of the errors that I have made. Missing alternative text. A picture does speak a thousand words, but imagine you cannot see the picture. So always keep your students with screen readers in mind and always have an alternative text just so that they can read and comprehend it better. The next one says image and object not in line. If the screen reader is reading something else and your image is somewhere else, it is very hard for them to comprehend. And the last one here is hard to read text contrast. Please keep in mind your students with vision disabilities or PTSD, certain colors trigger PTSD in our students. So always make sure you check for hard to read contrast. And the same is the case with my PowerPoint document as well. Here I have an extra which says intelligence services and it gives me suggestions for my alternative text. Here I also have check the reading order of my slides and just in case you want to know more about accessibility, Microsoft does provide a link right here in your accessibility checker just so that you can read and understand them better. Tool number two, Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader is a comprehensive reading tool that gives our students a complete reading experience, especially students with dyslexia, dysgraphia, and vision disabilities. Let's take a look. So here I am on my Edge browser, and I'm gonna use this web page to demonstrate Immersive Reader today. If you wanna know more about Edge browser, please click on the link above. So here is a document about guide to color accessibility in product design. I want to go ahead and change this entire web page into immersive reader experience. To do that, I simply scroll all the way up and click on this little book and speaker icon. I want you to see the magic. And as soon as I click, everything has changed in the background. And let me show you all the tools that are available in here. First is read aloud. So let me click on that. A guide to color accessibility in product design. So this kind of reads my entire document. Not only does it read, I also have options to change my voice. So here I have completely slow or completely fast. So let's go ahead and do really fast. And you also have options to choose from various English accents or dialects from right here. So I'm going to scroll this all the way to normal. So that is read aloud in Immersive Reader. Now the next tool is text preferences. This is my favorite. I usually use this tool a lot when I'm always in front of the screen. So I'm going to click on text preferences. And here I'm going to use the slider to move back and forth and I want you to observe what's happening on the screen. So when I move this to medium, as you can see, my entire words or my entire document has been minimized and I make it large, my entire document has been enlarged. Now this is customizable depending on your needs. It's not preset, so you can move the slider however you want. And the next is text spacing. So let me click on that. This kind of helps students comprehend better. 
and here the next one is page themes. I can change the background of the page depending on my vision needs. So here is completely dark background. Here is whatever the color is, cream. And when I click on that little arrow here, I have all these different options to change from. If I want it completely bright, I can do that. If I want this color, I can change it to that color. I'm gonna keep it to very neutral for now. Now the next tab is grammar tools. So let me click on that. All you English teachers out there, this is such a blessing. With one click of a button, it splits all the words into syllables. Not only does it split the words, it also tells me the nouns, the verbs, the adjectives and the adverbs in that particular document. And you as an instructor can customize the colors as well. Let's just say I want all my verbs to be green in color. And there you go, everything changes into green. Now if I want all my verbs to be red in color, everything changes into red. Now let me go ahead and close this. The next tab is reading preferences. This is my favorite as well because it lets you focus while you're reading. It helps you improve your focus. And this could be a blessing for our students with attention deficit and especially elementary students who get distracted really fast. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna turn this little button on and here it will ask me, how do you wanna focus? Do you wanna focus with five lines, three lines or single line? And what I like the most is the picture dictionary. So when I turn this picture dictionary on, let me go ahead and show you here. I'm gonna move my mouse and watch out for the change in the mouse to be like a wand. So here I have digital, I'm gonna click on it and that kind of gives me a picture of what that word means. Now let's go further, design, there you go. And practice, there you go, that's practice. And let me go further, people, and those are people. So it kind of helps our uh, younger kids or elementary students to read and comprehend better. The next option lets you translate the entire document into all these different languages. And let me go ahead and pick Telugu, my native language, and I'm gonna say change the entire document for me. And with one click of a button, the entire document is being translated into my native language. How cool is that? Immersive Reader is available in the Edge browser, Word, OneNote, Whiteboard, Forms, Outlook, and Teams as well. Tool number three is Dictate and Editor. We will first look at the Dictate feature and then come back to Editor. Dictate is text-to-speech capabilities inside Microsoft, which is available in your Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote. Let's take a look. So here I am on my Microsoft Word document. To start your Dictate feature, you simply click on this microphone that is available on your Home tab. This feature is also available for the web version. So let me click where I want my Dictate feature to change my speech to text and click on this microphone. And I want you to observe the screen as I speak. It automatically changes my speech into text and it does a pretty good job. Let me stop it. And here I have it. It has completely changed my speech into text. While we are still on the home tab, now let's go ahead and take a look at the editor tool that uses AI feature and helps our students become better writers. So here I'm on the home tab all the way to the right. You see this pen tool with three tags. That is is my editor. Let me click on that. And here it is suggesting me all these suggestions. It checks for spelling, grammar, clarity, formality, punctuation, and vocabulary. And it also makes sure that the document is age, gender, religion, racial, biased as well. Now this could be a blessing and such a powerful tool for our ELL students. Can you imagine the confidence this tool would give them just to start or even brainstorm their ideas and not to worry about somebody always looking over the document. Tool number four, ink to math feature in OneNote. You can use this feature with a different name with Math Preview in Microsoft Teams as well. If you wanna know more about Math Preview, simply click on the link above. But now let's go ahead and see how ink to math works in OneNote. 
So here I am on my OneNote on the web version to use ink to map. Let me click on draw and I'm gonna pick this pen tool and I'm gonna go ahead and write an equation. I'm gonna say x squared plus 5x minus nine is equal to zero. Once this is done, I'm going to select my lasso tool, select the entire equation and click math. And as soon as I click on it, on the right hand side, it's asking me, how can I help you with this equation? Do you wanna solve it? You wanna graph it? Now let's just say I pick solve. When I pick solve, it's gonna ask me, do you wanna see the steps? And when I click on it, it's going to ask me all different ways to solve this problem. Which way do you want to see the solution? Quadratic formula, completing a square. So this could be like a personal tutor for all the students who have dyscalcia or test anxiety. Now let me click on completing a square and it is gonna give me this step-by-step -step instruction on how I can solve this problem completing a square. And if you look closely on the right-hand side, there is an immersive reader. Let's click on that. And here it's gonna give me step-by-step -step, and I can also translate this entire document into a different language and comprehend the math problems better. So here it has translated everything into a different language. Let me go back and change it to, I'm just gonna close this. When I close this button, it automatically goes back to English. And this is like a private tutor for your students where they don't have to pay all those hundreds of dollars to help them solve those problems. It is right here inbuilt inside your OneNote. Tool number five is Microsoft Translator. You can use this as a web version or you can download an app. It has 10 speech languages, 63 text languages, and you can have up to 100 participants. I usually use the web version and I give my students a barcode. So let me go ahead and demonstrate how I do it. Here you see the instructor and the student version. I have logged into my Microsoft account and I'm gonna check this button that says I'm using this product in the classroom just so that my microphone is turned on at all times. As soon as I log in, it is going to give me this code and the QR code as well. I can copy and send this to my students or if students are using uh, mobile devices, they can simply scan this QR code and they will automatically be in your classes. So I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste it into my incognito window and I will log in as a student. Here it's going to ask me for my name. I'm just going to click BK and I'm going to choose the language that I can read. So I'm going to choose Hindi and I'm going to click enter. And as soon as the student logs in, it is going to tell me that I have one participant. The microphone is turned off. And here in the settings option, you have an option to mute everybody. You have an option to lock new participants. You have an option to save the transcript. You have all these options that you can play with. And here, if you see on the screen, as I speak, this is not only changing my speech to text, but on the student side, it's also translating it into Hindi. And students also have an option to save their transcript. Students can turn on their mic and speak in their language, and that will be translated into English. As an instructor, you can read and respond as well. I'm going to close this one. And I'm gonna say, hello students, welcome to the class. And you can see that whenever I say this, it's translating back into Hindi. I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna stop this. So this is a cool feature that you might wanna use when you are teaching multilingual students or you're presenting to multilingual audience. Always have this option available so that they can comprehend and understand you better. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator just like me who had no idea about all these amazing tools that can empower every student and make our classrooms inclusive. And always remember, happy teaching, and please take care of yourself.